What's up guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you my go-to kind of glam that I typically wear when going to like a wedding, a formal, any kind of like special event where it's like a little bit more like black tie, a little bit fancier. And I wanna do a really pretty makeup look, but I wanna look and feel like myself. I've kind of gone away from like the whole heavy makeup sort of thing, I still love glam. This is still very, very glam, but I just like things to look very skin-like and natural. So if someone was up close to my face, they wouldn't be like, ugh, that's like a hundred layer wedding cake right in front of me. Everything's really soft and dewy and glowy. There's not too many layers and I just, I feel like it's a really lightweight and soft kind of glam. Over the years, Hamish and I, when we were at uni in undergrad, we had like lots of med balls and all that sort of stuff. Depending on like what department that you're in, we were both in like the medicine and like sciences kind of department. And I think we went to like two or three of those. I would always do like some kind of variation of this, even for weddings and that. I just love a champagne lid. I don't know what it is about like a champagne, oh, a champagne lid. Oh, you just, I cannot get better than a champagne lid. It's just makes me want to gag. I just feel like it's so soft and feminine and pretty. The skin looks really plump and plush and youthful and just dewy, glossy. You know what I mean? All those jutsy words. Like it's just one of my favorite looks that I just really wanted to share with you guys in case you have any special events coming up or anything like that. I don't know. I just thought it would be a cute look to do for this video. And I thought it was perfect with like the drugstore products that I have here to show you guys. Really wanted to incorporate a full face of drugstore into this video because I think it's really important to showcase that you don't need to buy expensive makeup in order to get a really beautiful outcome. So I'm sharing with you guys a few of my favorite uh, drugstore products that I like, like especially the foundation that I used in this like the blush, the contour, all that sort of stuff are things that I typically use on an everyday kind of basis. And then there was like a few things that I wanted to incorporate in here that were new and that I just wanted to try out for the first time and that I can definitely say that are going to stick around and stay in my routine. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell down below just so you guys don't miss any of my notifications when I upload. And let's get stuck into the video. I have a little pimple patch on, just here. So I need to remember to take off. I broke out. I've got like a little one here, 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 here. So I don't know why I have the pimple patch just on <laughs> this one. I just wanted to see if it would work though. I don't know, something irritated my skin. I don't know what I did. We all know what my skin's like. I'm going to start off with a little bit of color corrector. But I feel like I need it. Like you guys probably won't even think it, but I think they look really dark. In person, I swear on camera it doesn't come up as bad. So I'm just using a fluffy brush and a little bit of this one from Maybelline. Actually no, it's L'Oreal. Infallible 24 Concealer Pomade Peach. Peach. And I'm just concentrating it in the areas where I tend to get a little bit of darkness because I haven't been sleeping well lately. I feel like I say this in every video though, but I honestly just don't. I'm a really light sleeper, so I just never sleep well. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like I have like such a <coughs> kind of voice today. Like it's a bit, it's a bit husky. So I'm just going to leave that to sit underneath my eyes for a little while. And in the meantime, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer. You guys know I love this. I mean, I've been using it on my channel in a super long time, but I used to love it. I used to be like so obsessed with it. And it's actually the only drugstore primer that I've actually kept in like my drawers back there. Behind me. So I'm only taking one pump of this because it um, is very intense. Oh shit, I forgot about a pimple patch. I look like the Tin Man. Oh, I look sick. I look like I'm actually sick. So we'll just give our skin a really pretty dewy base. If you guys have um, more, I need tissue. If you guys have more textured skin, um, I would be very strategic of where you place this. Even just here, I'm like, oh good, why don't I put it there? Because it's just going to accentuate it a little bit. I guess I should take this little patch off. I've never really did anything. You meant to leave them on for like eight hours. I feel like it made it go down a little bit, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying them out. They're the ones from Sephora. I 
can't remember what they're called. I think they're just like Sephora brand or something. And that's it for like our base prep. And then for foundation, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match. I'm in the shade Natural Beige W4. I think the shades are a little bit different for the Australian ones, but I'm pretty sure there's like a 4W or a W4 or something like that over here. It's basically the same shade as this. I think it's just called Golden Beige instead of Natural Beige. But this is a really beautiful um it's kind of dewy kind of natural like if you don't set it it's definitely dewy but if you set it it's more like a natural finish such a beautiful foundation i am obsessed with it one of my favorite drugstore foundations so that's the color really good match for my tan but i am only going to use like a teeny little bit of this i feel like the lighter i go with my coverage and the more time i just spend like blending it into the skin the more natural it looks where is my sponge as you guys can see, it's like insanely full coverage. So you really don't need much at all. And I am going to avoid the concealer area because I'm going to go over that with an actual concealer. I don't want to layer too many products and like it'll just get a little bit cakey under my eyes. So I really don't want to put unnecessary products under there. This is not as dewy as I remember it. I used to, I thought it was so much dewier than this. I don't know what I was thinking of. My face looks like a bag of bones. Like it's not matte, it's not dry. My skin's just like sucking it up. I think it's just the Aussie weather right now because it's winter. It's like my face is like a prune. It still looks pretty good though. Like it looks, I feel like it actually looks like skin and because I've only used the tiniest amount, like it's a really, really good coverage. So you don't need much. We're gonna go in with concealer now. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the dark circle one. They don't sell this anymore. It's not stocked anymore. You can still get this concealer, but it's not the dark circle shade. It'll actually have like a different shade name. I don't know if they just reformulated it or what they did, but I remember when they discontinued it and I was like, oh my God, that's really sad. This is actually one of Nakia Joy's sponges that she came out with. And then any leftover, I just take down the side of my nose, it blends really well. It's not too much lighter than my foundation. It's enough that it's gonna give like a little bit of brightness. Also covers that, um, oh, I'm really itchy. It covers that color corrector really, really well because it's such full coverage. It's a really good drugstore concealer if you guys haven't tried it. I'm now just gonna go in with some of the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray Dewy Finish. This doesn't seem very dewy to me, but I just, I want, I want a little bit of hydration up in here. So I'm going to try it out and just, we'll just see. It might do anything. It might not. Either way, it's going to lock in the foundation and I won't have to use as much powder later on. So we're going to set my eyelids and underneath my eyes really quickly. This is the Rimmel... Match Perfection Loose Powder. And that's all I'm gonna do in the way of powder for now. And then do I wanna do the rest of my face now or do I wanna move on to my eyes? I don't ever do my eyes before I finish my face, but why not? Today is a day of firsts. So these are like little um, Revlon palettes. I'm using a lot of Revlon stuff today. Yeah, am I? Yeah, I've just gotten a few packages in PR lately from Revlon. They've come out with some new stuff and it actually looks really cute. Usually I'm not really bothered by Revlon. I don't want to be rude, but like they just, their products always seem to me marketed towards like older women, like people like my mom. Not that my mom's old, but just like, like 40s, you know what I mean? Just the colors and stuff. Like they never, they're just not as interesting as like Maybelline and like L'Oreal and I don't know. But they've come out with some really cool stuff lately. So these are three new little palettes that they've come out with. I never am interested in drugstore palettes, but these actually look really cute. Like the green that's in this one and the blue, they're really funky. So anyway, I'm going to be boring today and do a champagne look. This one is the Player. I think that's what it's called, Player palette. It looks like this. I don't think I'm going to use this one today. If I do, I'll use like this gold, maybe the brown. Then we have the original. Um, and it's just all really nice, like neutrals. Not very warm, it's definitely more cool toned, but I really love this shade here. It's like a really glittery champagne shade. And then this one, so I think I can work with a couple of those. And then lastly, ah, 
hit my ankle bone. Oh my god, that's the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. It's given me a blood blister. This is the Enigma palette. So this one is purple. And then this one's got some really pretty berry tones. This is probably the prettiest palette. Like it has the most colors that I would use. I'm gonna stick to like the champagne-y colors today. So I'm not gonna be using any of those berry ones, but I might dip into like each palette. But I am just going to start off by putting a little bit of bronzer in my crease before I go in with those. So this is a little Maybelline uh, bronzer that I've had for a really long time now. I'm pretty sure they still sell it. I'm pretty sure I've seen it at Chemist Warehouse, um, but I really, really like this. So it's like a highlight on one side and a bronzer on the other. And this is in the shade number one blondes. So they must've had other colors. So I'm just taking my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I love this for blending. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on all my favorite bl 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 blending brushes. <laughs> I don't even know what, uh, all my brushes, not just the blending ones. I don't know what happened there. So all I'm doing with this is just building it into the crease and the outer corner, just as like a really rough base. I just love a bronzer in my crease. I just feel like it's such an easy way to get a really like pretty and glam kind of look. My ankle really hurts. Oh my God, it's bleeding. Ow. So I basically just keep dipping into this over and over and just building up the intensity. I like to keep it pretty diffused. It doesn't have to be perfectly blended or neat or anything. It kind of does the blending for you because it's intended to be used on the face and to be easy to blend in the first place. And then I'm just gonna switch brushes really quick. This one is the Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender. And all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of framing to the eyes, kind of like all the way along the lid as well, not just the lash line. Just giving it a really diffused and like soft yet smoky kind of look. So it's basically all I'm gonna do for like the base of the eyes. It's so quick and so easy and it's like my go-to makeup look. And then I'm gonna dip into the original palette into this shade just here. This is a Sigma E25. I'm just gonna diffuse the edges of that shimmery shade. And then I want to make it just a little bit more multi-dimensional. So I'm going to dip into the shimmery gold from the Enigma palette and just pop this on like the inner and outer portion. It's kind of like a really easy way to do um, like a little halo eye. And then I'm just jumping back in with the original champagne shade. I'm just packing this into the center, just like to the mobile eyeball lid part you know when you close your eyes and you can like kind of see someone's eyeball moving around in there just like on that kind of area and just like really make it pop i always love to do a really light wash of my shimmer and kind of blend it into the crease really lightly and then go back in and intensify on the lid because then you get like that really seamless blend but you can still kind of pack it on and make it really shimmery and like pretty and glossy and then i'm going to take a little bit of the lighter shades. This one's really shimmery too. And I'm gonna pop this just a teensy little bit right on top of the middle area that we just put the other champagne color just to like brighten it up even more. And then whatever's left over on my brush just popping it on the inner corners. These shimmers are actually really beautiful. I haven't used these palettes before. Typically when I do this kind of look I'll just use whatever champagne kind of colors I have sitting in front of me. So it really doesn't matter what palettes you have. It's such an easily achievable look. You literally just use bronzer and you can use like your highlight if you want to. Like you don't have to go out and buy new products for it, which is why I love it so much. I wasn't expecting this much. Like my eyelids look wet. Like, oh, look at that. It's like so glossy. I do want to take a little bit of this liquid, liquid alloy, alloy, alloy? alloy liquid alloy eyeshadow from revlon and this is in the shade sombra no palm reader so i'm gonna actually take a little bit of this on my hand and i just want this for like the chunks just to add like a little bit more like glitter i typically like doing this with like my Stila magnificent metals and this looks like a really similar kind of formula so I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. 
mostly focusing it on like the middle and like it doesn't do too much but I don't know if you guys can tell it just makes it a little bit more metallic and like a bit chunkier and then it just like is going to pop a little bit more in photos and I feel like it just kind of creates a multi-dimensional sort of look holy crap this is like the same as Kitten and Karma oh, that's like a dupe for sure I'm gonna mix these two so the brown in this palette and then this kind of charcoal gray in this one and all I'm gonna do is just line the outer corner of my lash line and just like to do a really soft little wing so just really soft nothing crazy you know so I'm just gonna pop on a pair of lashes now these ones are from Nakia Joy Cosmetics and actually my favorite lashes right now so Nakia sent them to me I can't remember what the name is I'm gonna have to try and figure it out because I literally love them so much and I feel like they're not I feel like they're drugstore press I'm gonna double check it for you guys but I'm all out of my um Adele lashes at the moment and these are like the closest thing to them if you guys want a pair of like drugstore lashes that you don't have to buy online, um, I recommend the Ardell Demi Wispies or like the Ardell Faux Mink collection. They're really, really good. And then my favorite little tool for sticking on false lashes is a little pair of lash tweezers. These ones are from XO Beauty. So Shan XO's brand. Her lashes are really affordable too, by the way, actually. She's got some really good lashes. I had like a um, natural set of like five or something. I've used them all up now and they're all they're all dead, unfortunately, because I just kept wearing the crap out of them and they were so good. Lash tweezers because you can kinda you can get in there and like stick the lash down and you can also go across like this and squeeze it and just get it like really nice and sandwiched with your natural lashes. So now just to blend my lashes in more now that they're stuck down, I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. This is literally the only drugstore mascara that I own, but because I am wearing falsies, I'm not really fussed. All mascaras kind of come out the same when you wear falsies. So this is just the Baby Roll mascara from Maybelline, I think, or L'Oreal. I always get them confused. L'Oreal. So I'm just doing my top lashes to blend them, and then I'm doing my bottom lashes as well. Then just to blend my falsies a little bit more, I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeliner and just color like the band area of my falsies to make sure no glue is showing. I'm gonna zoom you guys out now and we're going to do the rest of the fence. So because I didn't set my face before, I can go in and cream contour. I love cream contour. I'm going to use the Flower Beauty contour stick. Well, this is actually a foundation stick, but I use this in my Flower Beauty video. It's the shade, um, what shade are you? There's a hair stuck on there. Oh my god, Nutmeg 45. So how I like to work with this is I either take it straight from the tip of the foundation itself with my brush, or I like to go in, um, I like to just take a little gouge out of the product and then kind of warm it up on a little palette or just like a little surface or something. Just work it into my brush and then I just like to pat it and stipple it into my skin because I just feel like it comes out the most diffused and soft and natural that way, rather than like drawing it onto your skin. I'm just going to pat whatever's left over around my jaw, make sure it's blended. And then I kind of just drag it down my neck just to make sure that I don't have any weird funky lines or anything. And then once my brush is pretty much empty, that's when I'll go in and I'll start um, empty. <laughs> once my brush is well, not much left on the brush, then I'll go in and start um, blending the areas that I placed it down before. Anytime I drag it a bit too low, which is like all of the time, every other time, I just take my sponge with like a little bit of foundation left over and I'll just go underneath. Kind of over the top. It's a very warm toned color to um, contour with, so if you have more of a pink undertone um, and you're like more of a cool kind of color, maybe go for something a bit more cooler but I can get away with it because I do fake tan and my skin is quite yellow from fake tanning so I do have very warm undertones to my skin naturally as well as when I fake tan so I'm just like a little 
yellow Oompa Loompa over here so I can get away with using very warm tone colors to contour. And now I'm going to jump in with some blush. I love this blush. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Blush Creamy Cheek Tint and it's in the shade Flirty Pink number 10. This is a cream blush but it's more on like the matte kind of side. So I'm just going to take the opposite end of this brush. Just a fluffy brush will do. You can even use your fingers, you can use a sponge. You just start patting it onto the apples of the cheeks. And just kind of work my way back just to blend it into that warm contour we just did. I like to add quite a lot of blush because blush disappears. All right, I, I don't know where it goes. If you know where it goes, let me know because it just leaves, runs away from home. I always like to take whatever color I'm doing on my cheeks really lightly across the bridge of my nose and like on my forehead and chin. I feel like it just adds a little bit more color and like life back into your face. So now what I like to do is set those areas that I have applied those products so they don't kind of disappear and run away like the blush always does. So I'm gonna jump back in with this Maybelline bronzer. I'm gonna tap right over the top of where I placed the uh, cream stick. Really important to tap so you don't get any of the product pulling off and getting patchy. And, like this is my favorite way to avoid setting my face while still using powders. And then to go over top of the blush, this is so pretty. I, I swear this has been in every single one of my videos. Oh my God, for like the past month. I'm obsessed with this blush. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. It's the Flower Beauty Preach Peach Primrose <laughs> Tongue Twister. But I just like to pat straight over top. Feel free to like, you know, not go in with this much. I just personally love a lot of color on the cheeks. I always have, even when I was in school, I remember there was this girl and she had really orange cheeks and I was like, oh, that looks delicious. What are you wearing, babe? I'm pretty sure it was one of the Maybelline or L'Oreal bronzers from like back in the day, like the terror ones, like the really orangey ones. And she just had so much of it like slathered on her cheeks. And I was like, oh my God. And I bought the same one and I used to use it over my entire face as like a powder. So this one, not afraid of a bit of face color. I've just always loved a little bit of a, um, a bit of a cheek. Anytime that I feel like I've done a little bit too much, I just go back in with like the translucent powder under my eyes because I always feel like I take it up a little bit too high sometimes, the color. So I just use this to kind of like diffuse it a little bit and then just like add to any areas that, you know, are a bit sticky or whatever. This is something I like to do as well and I may as well show you guys this. So sometimes if you feel like you've done too much on your cheeks, a little trick I like to do is just take the powder and just go straight over top of them. I feel like this kind of just like mutes it out a little bit. That's just a little trick. Just a little tricksy doodle from me. Highlight, we're gonna use the model's own Sculpt and Glow Highlighter Powder Golden Sand. That's the color. So it looks like this. It's really not very golden sand looking. It's more pink looking. I've had this for ages. I worked with model's own maybe two years ago now. And this is one of the products that has stayed in the collection ever since. So just really lightly buffing this onto the high points of the cheeks because it's very intense. I just want to really lightly dust the cheeks. And I love highlighting my cupids well as well. Look at that. Oh, oh surprise And like in between my brows and down my nose. A little tiny bit on my chin, just avoiding the breakouts. And I also like to do the sides of my forehead. Kind of like where you get like a little TV happening. Look at that. Oh, it just looks wet and so pretty. It's not like having like a stripe of highlight. It's just like the perfect amount of intensity and like natural kind of glow. And then if you ever want to take it down a bit more, just go back over it with the um, translucent powder brush. And I feel like it just helps diffuse it so much. I'm going to give my face a quick little spritz with the um, Flower Beauty Hydrating Mist again. I 
Tart sent me this little um, fan in PR. And I was like, what the hell do I need a fan for? And now every time I spray my face with setting spray, I find myself fanning myself. So thank you, Tart. <laughs> actually really appreciate the fan. I feel like that fan's gonna be amazing in summer as well. So we're gonna finish everything off with the lips. My dry, crusty, bumhole lips. This is my favorite drugstore liner ever. I haven't been able to use it in so long because I didn't have a sharpener. And I literally went to Mecca the other week specifically to buy a sharpener. And the girl who served me actually knew who I was and it was so exciting. But anyway, this is the, oh, and the sharpener. I just want to say this real quick. This is the NARS sharpener. Really good. Has like two sized little holes and it was six bucks. When she grabbed the NARS one, I was like, oh my God, it's going to be like 20 bucks. I don't really want to buy a sharpener that expensive. Um, but it was six bucks. Such a steal. Okay, this lip liner is the Essence lip liner in the shade In The Nude. The best nude lip liner from the drugstore. The thing that makes this lip liner the best is that it's like two bucks. Really can't go wrong with a two dollar lip liner. I'll be honest, I am noticing the difference in the pigment because I've been using a MAC lip liner for the last week and uh, there's a significant difference in the pigment right now but two dollars compared to like thirty dollars uh, I know what I would pick if I was on a budget. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Kiss I can't never talk. Revlon Kiss Cloud Blotted Lip Color. I got these in the mail today and I was like, eh, drugstore lip products. I'm never that excited by them because a lot of the time they're weird colors and there's only ever one color that I really like. These are blotted. The word blotted really got me. I was like, oh my God, like, I love a blotted lip. I always blot mine. So this is the shade 15 Cashmere Mauve. Oh my God, they're not wrong. It really is blotted. That's amazing. It's like just such a nice sheer yet yeah, matte formula. So comfortable. Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna be obsessed with these. That shade is perfect as well. Like I love having a lip color that kind of matches your cheeks. This is the best thing ever. I love this. It comes in a few different colors. This was the shade that I thought would look the best with this kind of look because it's still really rosy and matches the cheeks. And I feel like it complements like the champagne kind of eyelid. This is what I would pick anyway if I was going to like a wedding or an event or something. And I just wanted like a really natural and soft yet glam kind of look. So comfortable. It's still kind of creamy but matte and it definitely sets down. I'm going to top it off with the Revlon Kiss. Oh my god, these names. I can't read them today. Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. This one is in the shade. can't read because the light's bouncy beige. I have died and I've gone to heaven. This is delicious. It smells fucking delicious too. Oh wow, these are going, I have like a little jar next to me. I'll show you guys. A little jar here of just like all my go-to nude lipsticks at the moment. Glosses, lipsticks, crayons, like they're just, it's all my nudes. And uh, the these two are going into the container. Oh my god, it's just the best color ever, don't you think? Hamish actually has a grad ball coming up because he graduates from uni this year. So I don't know what dress I'm going to wear yet, but it is like a ball. Like you do get pretty dressed up and everyone's going to be pretty glam. So I want to start figuring out what kind of makeup that I want to do. And this is like one of my go-tos for like weddings formals all that sort of stuff anytime that i've had like a big event like that it's always been some kind of variation of this makeup so i just feel like it kind of goes with any color you can just adapt a lip color to what you're wearing the skin is still so natural and soft yet glam i really wanted to make sure i incorporated all drugstore products into this video as well for you guys so even if you're on a budget you can still achieve a really beautiful and glam look so Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. The cops got someone. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so somebody is using their motorbike. Rude. <laughs> Rude. Oh, watch out for that tree.
need a ride when you don't tell me why I got a thing about you